Melissa here with Epson LabelWorks. Today I want to show you the new feature in the LWPX900 transferring images from the PC software to the standalone unit. So I'm going to launch the Label Editor program and let's dive in. Now I'm in the main screen of the Label Editor program. So we're going to go up to File, Transfer, and then we're going to click on the Data Transfer tool. Now this is the feature that you're going to use if you want to transfer anything from the PC software to the standalone unit. And today we're going to transfer image. So let's click on transfer image. Perfect. Now here you can see under the image file, I have five spots. So I can store up to five images in the standalone unit that I can recall out in the field when I'm not connected to the computer. So let's go ahead and load one. So go ahead and put your cursor in the first position or select whichever one you want, and then go ahead and tap load. This is going to open up your browse, so you can go ahead and browse your computer to that image and select it. When you've got it, click open, and it's going to bring that into your label. Now a tip that you might want to do is I've already tested ahead of time the exact settings I want to get my image just right so it prints exactly how I want it. So you have some options here to go ahead and do that, and that will carry over into the standalone unit as well. So again, I used the approximation here, and then I changed this threshold slider, which is kind of a black and white slider. Um, I'm going to set it to 245. That was the sweet spot that I found. Okay, perfect. When you have the settings exactly as you want them, just simply tap the transfer button. Transfer selected data. Yes, please. It'll think for a minute, and then the image is transferred. How easy is that? All right, so we just finished transferring the image to the standalone unit and I unplugged the USB. So let's access that image now. It's going to be stored in your symbols library and there's a category called downloaded. So simply tap the button here for your symbols library, use your arrows to go down to downloaded and press return. Now this gives you the option to either recall or delete. We're going to hit recall. And I can scroll through if you have multiple images. Remember, you can store up to five in the standalone unit. So you can scroll through. It's going to show you a preview of each one as you go through. And when you have the one you want, simply hit return and it'll apply it to your label. Now it's going to automatically size it. And remember, we set the print settings or the quality settings already. So it's good to go. You could push print and walk away right now. Or if you need to add anything else to your label, go ahead and do that. Let's push print and get that label going. See, I told you it was easy. If you have questions on the LWPX900 or want to chat about your labeling applications, give us a call. We would love to chat with you. Thanks again and happy labeling.